Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, JV, coming to you live this afternoon from somewhere out there in the East Bay, California. Um, anyway, I, I normally never talk about this topic, but it caught my attention because I came across uh, a couple of videos here on YouTube about uh, some guys that uh, coach uh, guys on how to uh, approach women and get w good with women for a living. They basically uh, take them around crowded cities where there's a lot of good looking women and they basically tell them, hey, go ahead and approach that girl and try to get um, somewhere in the conversation. Uh, uh, apparently, there was a couple of videos, as I mentioned, that I watched, and they were uh, taking it in increments. They would start off by uh, first asking the girl for directions. Then it would escalate to uh, giving the girl a compliment. And then after giving the girl a compliment, then uh, it would um, escalate even further by trying to start a conversation with the girl and ultimately... Um, you know, just getting comfortable in the conversation. And then, and then finally it would escalate to the point where they would ask their, uh, their, um, mentors, not their mentors, but their uh, clients to try to, uh, have a in-depth conversation about a variety of different topics, flirting with a girl and ultimately getting their phone number. And, uh, it just got me, it got me thinking because a lot of these coaches, they basically say that if you are an average looking guy or even a, a below average looking guy, that looks really are not as important as uh, society makes it out to be. That if you uh, learn their techniques, that if you go out there and approach 100,000 women, well, I'm just kidding. If you approach 100 women, 500 women, and you um, desensitize yourself from the fear of approaching girls, which I admit it's very difficult, by the way. It's very, very difficult to walk up to a complete stranger, especially if the girl happens to be very, very attractive. It's a big challenge to approach her and, and tell her your intentions indirectly, if you, if you know what I mean. But anyway, they say that if you approach you know a huge amount of volume of women that eventually you're going to get to a point if you keep practicing you're going to get to a point where uh, you're going to have a lot of success your confidence level is going to go up uh, you're going to learn how to overcome objections with a lot of these girls and ultimately you will reach your objective whatever whatever objective it may turn out to be you know, maybe the guys are in their 20s and they just want to get as much uh, action, if you know what I mean, as possible because they're in their 20s. Other guys might be just looking for that ideal girlfriend. And so that makes it a lot easier for them because if they talk to 500 uh, women, eventually out of those 500 women, they're going to, you know, find a couple of maybe five girls that might say yes and something might come out might come out of that um and, and listen i you know me personally i think that the services that these guys offer are legitimate i do i do think that um their coaching definitely helps you a lot it, it, it motivates you it, it pushes you to to come out of your comfort zone it, it really um makes you understand that uh, there's a potential to to talk to complete strangers, meaning complete uh, um, uh, women that you don't even know who they are, and that ultimately you can have success. I, I agree with you. The problem, and, the, the, and, and you know, one of the things that I don't agree with is when they say that looks are not as important as society makes it out to be, and I completely disagree with that. Because if you're going to be approaching a girl randomly out of the blue, a girl that might be um, 
in a hurry, a, a girl, a girl that might be in a rush, a girl that may not even be thinking about, you know, hooking up with some random guy on the street. Uh, if you're going to be doing that, um, you better have something of value in return for that uh, particular girl. If she's going to give you the, the time of day, you got to have something that she wants in order for her to stop on the street and, and like I said, talk to you. And um, obviously when the girl has no idea who you are, she doesn't know about your character, she doesn't know about your career goals, I mean your career, she doesn't know about your ambition, uh, she doesn't know that perhaps you're very successful in so many aspects of life. Um, the, the only thing that she's going to focus on right away is your physical appearance. I mean, that's really like a cover letter. It's like when you're applying for a job and the company doesn't know anything about your skill set. Uh, they don't know about your, you know, how much knowledge you have on the subject matter. They don't know how your cadence is when you're working in sales, something that really works, something that allows you to meet your quota, for example. This, this approaching women thing is no different. This is like sales. You're selling yourself. And it's like a cover letter. Your physical appearance. And if the girl immediately sees you, the very first five seconds of the conversation, if she doesn't find you attractive, more than likely she's not going to stop there and talk to you for a couple of minutes. She's just going to walk away. Or she may uh, stand there, like I saw in some of these uh, demonstrations that I that I saw on YouTube, which was fascinating. Like I said, I think I think it's it's very motivational what these guys do. I really I'm not knocking what they do. I think it's great. Um, anybody that watches their approaches gets um, uh, you know you get you get motivated. You you want to do it yourself as well. Especially if you're in a uh, place in life where you are single, you're young, and you're looking to uh, meet women. And this is such a natural way to meet them that uh, you want to do it. But I I'm not knocking it. But, but the problem is, if you're not an attractive looking guy, you're not going to get very far as where I'm trying to get. Um, you know, they can, they can coach you all they want. They can give you some constructive uh, uh, feedback uh, they can tell you certain words to say and certain words not to say they can teach you how to um, improve your body language but if you're not physically attractive and you're you're you know you're approaching women that are eights and nines and you want the upper echelon of uh, look, good looking women chances are the girl's not going to stop they're not going to talk to you. Uh, you might come across a girl, you know, once in a blue moon that might be really attractive, that might be really sweet, that might be really nice, that she might uh, be willing to give you a chance. But those are the exceptions. Those are not the norms. So uh, ultimately, in my opinion, you got to have three things. And I'm no expert at this. Trust me, I don't. I'm not an expert. I'm not looking to uh, hook up with women. I have a girlfriend already, so I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not looking to do that. But if I were a single man and I was in my 20s again, uh, I think that I would have to have these three things in order to pursue uh, women uh, randomly in public places. Uh, the first one would have to be, you gotta be, in, uh, you gotta be an above average looking guy. I mean, you just have to have, that's number one. You got to have that look that's going to captivate the woman and that, you know, something that's going to give her uh, the motivation to stand there for a couple of minutes and talk to you. Uh, that's number one. Number two, you got to have the ability to speak, carry a conversation with these women. And that is really difficult to do because for the most part, you know, again, I was wa I'm going by what, what I was watching on these videos. And a lot of these women, uh, they just don't give you anything. They don't give you a whole lot of uh, topics, of co topics of conversation. They just give you like one, one word answers. When you, stop, when you start asking them a bunch of questions, 
uh, they just give you like a one or two word answer and then you got to keep the conversation going. It's all on you. I mean, you, you basically don't have any help from them. So you got to be really good at carrying the conversation, uh, coming up with a variety of different topics. Well, maybe, maybe not a variety of different topics, but you got to have a, a, spe um, a specific topic that you can, that you can, uh, concoct while you're having when while you're talking to the girl maybe you can talk about her physical appearance maybe you can talk about her hair maybe you can talk about her outfit maybe you can talk about uh, her body language whatever the case may be you got to be really good at, at just carrying a conversation that's number two you got to have that otherwise the call the 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 interaction is going to stall very quickly and then she's just going to walk away and then the third one would be you got to have a sense of humor you absolutely got to have a sense of humor. That is that is paramount. You got to make the girl laugh. If you can do that, then you might be able to break the ice, put her at ease, and then you know, the call the the conversation may not be as awkward as it would be if you come across as a very robotic individual with a very dull expression of your on your face and then you know, again, she's going to freak out and she's just going to walk away from from the interaction. So to me, those are three things that you must have. And like I said, I'm no expert. I'm not giving any advice. But if I were in their shoes, if I was a, a guy looking to get coached by a quote unquote expert, I would say to myself, am I good looking enough? Number one, am I a good talker? Number two. Can I carry a conversation? And number three, do I have some sort of a sense of humor? Those were, I mean, you got to have those three things in order to be successful. Otherwise, it's going to be a challenge. But, um, but anyway, it just got my attention. I don't know. I just wanted to make a video about this because it was just fascinating to watch these guys um, who I give a lot of credit because, I, again, it's not easy, man. It's not easy to approach uh, women out there on the street that are, going about their business, whether it's, uh, you know, in, they're inside of a library, they're, in, they're inside of a coffee shop, a grocery store, uh, a clothing store, maybe they're just walking down the street, and then you see her, and uh, she's really attractive, and for mo most of us guys, we get paralyzed, we, we just get paralyzed, we don't, we don't pull the trigger, we don't approach, because... We're afraid of uh, rejection. Uh, we don't know what to say. Uh, some doubt creeps into our heads. And we start thinking to ourselves, uh, I'm not even good at looking enough. I'm not even worthy enough to talk to this girl. I don't think I'm going to go anywhere with her. So why even bother? So for these guys to, to do what they do, I mean, I give them a lot of credit. But... Um, you, you gotta, you gotta, you know, I completely disagree with the coaches there that say that uh, looks are not as important as, as you might think. They are the most important part of, of this whole approaching women in public. Because like I said earlier, it's like, a, it's, it's like, a, you know, it's like being in sales. It's like you're selling something. If your product is shitty, if your product is, is terrible, uh, chances are the prospects that you're reaching out over the phone or via email, they're not going to respond to you. They're just going to hang up on you right away because they don't find any value in the product or in the service that you're providing them with. And they really don't know much about your company anyway. If you don't have a reputation for having a good company, a solid product, uh, they, they got nothing to judge you on except that first impression that, uh, you know, that 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 product or service that you're offering well the same thing applies for guys that are approaching women out on the street if you're not a good looking guy they're not going to give you the night the, the day the time of day it's that simple more times than not generally speaking there might be exceptions as i mentioned here and there but it's going to be very difficult to pull the trigger and uh, and get uh, and ultimately get your objective uh, over the finish line. But anyway, just wanted to make this video because I just found it fascinating. 
I do I do agree with the coaches. I think this uh, the services that they offer is valuable. I think it does work, but it only applies, in my opinion, it only works if you are a good looking guy. If you're not an attractive guy, I think you're wasting your time, you're wasting your money, and uh, you should try this on your own. Or perhaps find another method of, of meeting women. Not not online dating or over the internet, but meet, them, meet, meet women in person, maybe through a mutual friend or something like that. You gotta have some sort of a warm lead. But if you think that, uh, if you're a below average looking guy and you think that you can pull an, an eight or a nine girl, it's gonna be a challenge. Anyway, just wanted to make this video. And I will talk to you about a different topic more than likely on my next video. Talk to you later.